Very commonly in a 3D scene, you will want to have more than one material assigned onto a single object. And these dining room pendant lamps are a good example of that. I want the exterior to be a single color, like black, and I want the interior to be white to better reflect the light. And to do that, we can use something called a multi-sub-object material. We can actually select polygons and drag and drop materials onto those selected polygons, and that will automatically create a multi-sub-object material. Sometimes, however, that process gets a little bit confused, and you might end up with more material assignments than you need. Also, I prefer to create that multi-sub-object material manually so I have full control. And of course, for the demo, it's a good idea to do it through the manual process so that we see exactly how it works. Let's open up the material editor with the M key on the keyboard. In this version of the scene, I've got a black matte material assigned to those objects, and it happens to be a physical material. Multi-sub-object can combine materials of different types. That means the interior can be maybe a standard material, but the exterior can be a physical material in this case. Let's bring a standard material over, click and drag, and then we got a new standard material. Double click on it to load its parameters. Let's make it perfectly white. The specular is already white. We can just drag and drop onto the diffuse, and we get asked, do we want to swap the colors or copy? Let's copy. And now this is a perfectly white diffuse color. Next, we need a multi-sub-object material. And that's going to be found in the Material Map Browser over here in the General category, Multi-Sub-Object. Drag that over. And then double-click it and give it a name. And we'll call it Dining Lamp Multi. I do like to use the descriptive word multi in here. And I try to do that really everywhere. Put the material type in the name of the material so that I know exactly what I'm dealing with. All right, by default, we've got 10 materials in this multi-sub-object material. We only need two. Let's click on Set Number and set that to two. Click OK. And then we can make the assignment. The way that 3ds Max assigns materials onto polygons is via ID numbers. Each polygon has an ID number. And when we create an object, it's assigned ID numbers of one on every polygon. Right now, every polygon on my lamp has an ID number of one. I only want to change the interior and leave everything else as it is. That means then I want the black matte material to be ID number one. I'll click and hold on the output here and drag and plug that into ID number one. And then this one over here, let's rename it. I'll double click it and I'll call it lamp interior and then Click and drag on its output and assign it to ID number two of the multi-material. All right, so we've set that all up, and now we need to change the IDs on the polygons. I'll minimize the material editor, select the object, and let's go into face or polygon selection mode. Now we could select all the polygons here on the interior using paint selection or various other methods, that would be kind of tedious. To speed up the process, we can select an entire polygon ring and then grow that ring. I'll just select one of these near the center and then hold down the Shift key and then click on an adjacent polygon. And that selects the entire polygon ring. Pretty clever. Then we can grow that selection outward. And we want to grow that until we select all of the interior polygons. And if you're not really clear on what you're seeing, you can use F2 on the keyboard and that will shade the selected faces. And now I've selected almost everything there except for these up here at the top. And to select those, maybe I can use the paint selection tool. And remember that's up here. We can select in different methods. We've got the rectangular selection region. Click and hold on that and then choose the little aerosol can icon, and that is paint selection. Then hold down Control and drag across to select the rest of those interior polygons. All right, so by hook or by crook, you need to select all those interior polygons. Once they're all selected, we can change their ID number. 
and that's going to be found over here in the editable poly. And we can expand the command panel and bring some of this stuff out, see more of it. And what we're looking for is a section that says polygon material IDs. When we enter in a value here to set ID and then press the enter key, what we're saying is assign all of the selected polygons to have that ID. I'll put in a value of two and then press enter. And now all of those selected polygons have ID number two. And we can double check those assignments. I'll deselect everything. Go over here to the select ID field, put in a value of one and then click on select ID. Now it's selected every polygon that has ID one. I'm selecting by ID. Then I could try value of two, click select ID, and now I've selected all the polygons that have ID number two. Cool, the assignment's been made. We can exit out of subobject mode and then go ahead and assign that material. Go back to the material editor. I've got it minimized down here. And then just do the assignment like you normally would. We can click on the output, drag over to the object, and then when we release the mouse, boom, we've got a multi sub object material. We could have up to 10 sub materials on a single object if we wanted to. In this case, of course, just two is all we need. All right, great. So that's a basic overview of how to work with the 3ds Max material editor. And in the next chapter, we will look at maps to vary the color or other properties of an object across its surface.